Hey everybody, we're in the fish room again, and we got another aquarium to set up. Let's go. So on the 75 gallon tank, I measured how big I need to make the lids. 16 and a quarter is where we make the first cut. The next cut, 22 inches. All right, now let's cut this thing apart here to get our lids. Uh, go ahead and get yourself a nice pair of scissors to do this. It just makes it easier. But yeah, let's cut it up, guys. So now that we got our lids cut out, we can see it's gonna fit in here nicely. Now our only issue is this pipe, we're gonna have to cut. All right, let's give that a shot. Now that is very nice. This is what's really nice about the plastic lids is you can cut them down to however you need them. That should do. So we got our lids on the 75 gallon. All right, so you can see that uh, I got some egg crate washed here. One of them is for the sponge, and then this is for rock. Um, when I was talking to people uh, commenting on this tank here, they were saying to do the egg crate, so I'm gonna do that on this tank here. So I'm really liking this one down over here. At least when things are in water, they feel lighter. There we go. Look at this right in this area. All right, so I think this rock is gonna go. All right, so I got a dry sponge, and what we're gonna do is just to test it. So we want the sponge to sit here, and I want there to be room on both sides. So we need to pull this rock this way a bit see but it's not a tall rock like the other one is so it's not hiding the sponge let's do it ah. Ah. oh my gosh that is heavy all right we got the spot for the sponge it's in a nice place you can see there's room here for fish um, I kind of think that that's going to do really well I think that's going to do for now. Let's see, actually move this over just a smidge. There we go. I want enough room for fish. Plenty of room back there. So I think that's going to do. Now we're going to fill it up with some water. going to go ahead and do what I did the other day. Add a little bit of water in here. Just enough to where I can start getting that sand in there. All right, we're back to using the sand, pool filter sand that uh, works really well. It doesn't have to get washed and just start layering it in here. And I like to do it like this to avoid air bubbles because air will get trapped inside sand. And I feel like this way is gonna help so that it doesn't get trapped. All right, let's speed this sucker up, get that sand in there nice and quick. But yeah, guys, uh, it's a nice sand. It, it uh, is really great. I like it a lot. All right, let's get right into the thick of it, guys. Just start going like this, cover it up. All right, so we need a little bit more here. All right, flip the water back on. Went off my hand. Let this start filling up a little bit more. It'll help disperse the sand. Shut her down. And now, it's gonna kinda come in here, help push that sand in the areas where the egg crate is. And turn it on. All right, now to get the tank all set up here with water on super speed. 75 gallons of water. This is awesome. This is so awesome. Now I am working on getting uh, the little floating particles out, uh, which you will see here in just a second what I'm talking about. Part of setting up a new tank. 
All right, so we're going to put this power head in like we did the other one. There we go. Now to plug it in. Bam. See the little black particles and stuff? That's the stuff that was floating around. I mean, that's nothing. You can see this. I mean, that's pretty clear considering that it just got put in there. All right, so we got everything all put in there, the rock, the sand, the power head and all that. So I'm gonna let it run for a while just to push around the water. Uh, and then I'm going to get the bubbles off and all that good stuff. We're getting there, guys, we're getting there. Now getting all the bubbles off. This is definitely something that uh, I would recommend letting the tank sit for a while and just kind of run so that all of the bubbles settle. Then you could get them off and then repeat as necessary. We got some good pieces of driftwood. And now we gotta just find out what to do with this guy. What do you guys think? We are putting in the sponge now. I'm going to just let this thing sit right here while we get the uh, the whole line situation figured out. Now we're gonna go ahead and get this set in its spot back here. All right, let's get the fish in their new home. As we know, catching fish in a large amount of water can be pretty tough. So I opened up my valve and uh, we're gonna go over here and flip on the spa pump so that it'll start pulling the water out of here at a good rate so that we can try to catch them with a small amount of water much easier as we know you can see it draining yeah yeah let's catch let's catch them here we go oops there we go keep going there we go get them in this corner Oh, that was fast. Oh, stopped them from going. There we go, nice. Check it out. All right. Got it. There we go. Nice. These uh, are definitely like a pair. I'm hoping that it'll be male, female. That'd be awesome. All right. So I definitely want these guys to have some time to just, you know, calm down and all that good stuff. You know, getting pulled like that can be stressful. So we're going to go ahead and put the lids on. This one goes over here like that. And then go ahead and just place this guy. Actually, you need to top off the water. These guys absolutely love krill. See if they go for it, guys, and see if they go for it. Come on, come on, come on. Yeah, come on. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I want to see. Let's try a few more. Come on, come on, come on. Yeah, 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 yeah. Get it! There's that one. Yeah. <laughs> There's one more piece over here, guys. Come on. Let's see if one gets this piece. Come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yeah! You guys got a nice shot right there. Zabrina Pike. Man, those are awesome fish. 75 gallon Zabrina Pike tank in hopes that it is a male and a female. You know, these have never been bred in captivity. 
Uh, I'm not saying I'm going to be the one that's lucky, but you never know. You never, never know. Uh, these two are always paired off with each other, so I don't know. Is that a good sign? But, uh, yep, there they are. Their own tank to themselves. What do you guys think? If you guys could comment, like, share, subscribe, and hit the notification bell, that would be absolutely awesome. Let me know what you guys think of the new 75-gallon Zabrina Pike tank. Stay tanked.